Improving our relationships with others will happen automatically when we have faith in a higher power and we rely on His power and not our own. Working with others and thinking less of ourselves, not thinking we are less than, helps deflate our inevitable ego from taking charge. Looking back after living a more selfless life, we realize we were our own problem. Drinking and other instant gratification behaviors are distant memories. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, the verdict of the ages is that faith means courage. All men of faith have courage. They trust their God. We never apologize for God. Instead, we let him demonstrate through us what he can do. November 2nd, thought for the day. I have faith, that thing that makes the world seem right, that thing that makes sense at last, that awareness of the divine principle in the universe, which holds it all together and gives it unity and purpose and goodness and meaning. Life is no longer ashes in my mouth or bitter to the taste. It is all one glorious whole, because God is holding it together. Faith, that leap into the unknown, the venture into what lies beyond our ken, that which brings untold rewards of peace and serenity. Have I faith? Meditation for the day. Keep yourself like an empty vessel for God to fill. Keep pouring out yourself to help others so that God can keep filling you up with His Spirit. The more you give, the more you will have for yourself. God will see that you are kept filled as long as you are giving to others. But if you are selfishly trying to keep all for yourself, you are soon blocked off from God, your source of supply, and you will become stagnant. To be clear, a lake must have an inflow and an outflow. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may keep pouring out what I receive. I pray that I may keep the stream clear and flowing. We never knew the feeling of being content just as we were. We thought we had to be something we weren't and had to medicate ourselves with booze to feel normal. The reason why is not important. We are who we are. We deal with what is, not some fantasy of what we would have liked to be. Until we admit what we are, we can't do anything about it. Now we know we are sick. We have a malady that we cannot cure on our own. The good news is there is a solution to our problem, and it is a spiritual one. Once we accept the help, our lives are changed and we travel a new path to freedom and happiness. Faith is a belief without evidence. The program of Alcoholics Anonymous is about knowing we are powerless and finding a power greater than ourselves that we know, without evidence, will solve our problem for us. Our part is to let him do what only he can do and for us to get out of the way. We surrender and participate by trying to understand what His will is for us and to be more selfless by thinking of others. Service is just one leg of the triangle, along with unity and recovery. We stay recovered by helping others, thinking about ourselves less. That is how we grow closer to our spirit of the universe, along with prayer and meditation. Sobriety. Recovery is not a destination. It is the journey where we must keep actively giving in order to keep receiving. We have a daily reprieve from our malady, contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. We are never cured. We are recovered. And each day we get the opportunity to turn toward God. Or we turn to ourselves, and that means to the drink. And we know to drink is to die. But... Because we enjoy our new life of service to others in sobriety, we meet new people along the way and new friendships form that continue to interest us more than a temptation to return to our old way of thinking and living. 
Our new spiritual path is the only one for us. We know in our hearts it is the better path, and our faithful perspective gives us joy by accepting who we are as we are, and we get to help others. Learning to love others and ourselves by having a spiritual awakening as the result of the steps, feeling the love and presence of our Maker, transform us from self-centered takers to empathetic givers. We know we have barely scratched a limitless load, which will pay dividends only if we mine it for the rest of our lives and insist on giving away the entire product. In order to receive, we must give. Consider, the verdict of the ages is that faith means courage. All men of faith have courage. They trust their God. We never apologize for God. Instead, we let him demonstrate through us what he can do. November 2nd, thought for the day. I have faith, that thing that makes the world seem right. That thing that makes sense at last. That awareness of the divine principle in the universe which holds it all together and gives it unity and purpose and goodness and meaning. Life is no longer ashes in my mouth or bitter to the taste. It is all one glorious whole, because God is holding it together. Faith, that leap into the unknown, the venture into what lies beyond our ken, that which brings untold rewards of peace and serenity. Have I faith? Meditation for the day. Keep yourself like an empty vessel for God to fill. Keep pouring out yourself to help others so that God can keep filling you up with His Spirit. The more you give, the more you will have for yourself. God will see that you are kept filled as long as you are giving to others. But if you are selfishly trying to keep all for yourself, you are soon blocked off from God, your source of supply, and you will become stagnant. To be clear, A lake must have an inflow and an outflow. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may keep pouring out what I receive. I pray that I may keep the stream clear and flowing. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.